Hi, it's Cory, and today you're gonna learn how to play Somebody I Used to Know by Gautier. This song is actually a direct result of you guys. A couple weeks back, I recorded a video where it was 10 songs that only require three chords, and this is one of the songs that was in that video, and I asked you guys what you would like a full tutorial of, and this song, along with Stay With Me, were the most popular amongst the responses. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So look forward to a tutorial for Stay With Me as well, or if it's already been released, I will have a card linking to it as well. And if you need any other ideas for really simple songs to play, make sure to check out that video also in the cards um, and send it some love. Let's get right into it. Like I said, you're only gonna need three chords to play the song and that's going to be the G major, F major, and A minor. And realistically, of those three chords, you're pretty much only playing the G major and the A minor. The F is just in the chorus and it's not, I think probably in the entire song you play it like three times, so it's almost a two chord song. To start, let's talk about that A minor. So you're gonna take your second finger and then place it on the fourth string, second fret. And that's that. The F major from there is actually really easy to get to, so you have that A minor all situated, your second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and all you have to do then is take your first finger and place it on the first fret, second string and then that's your F major. And if you're not starting from the A minor, you can just take piece, place your first finger on that second string first fret, and then take your second finger and place it on the fourth string second fret. And finally, to make that G major, which of all the chords is probably the most difficult, but not really that difficult in comparison to like all the chords in ukulele, just maybe in this song, you're gonna take piece to start and take that first finger, place it on the third string second fret, then your second finger is gonna go on the first string second fret, and the third finger here is gonna go on the third fret second string. And that's that G major. Now when playing all these chords, it's really important to support that neck with your thumb. It's gonna make the transition between that G to the A minor, to F, so on, way easier when it's supported back there. All right, let's talk about strumming pattern. There's a couple different things you can do for strumming pattern. As always, if you're really just starting out and what I recommend to do before ever approaching any more advanced strumming pattern, and what I mean by more advanced is anything more than just a down strum, is actually just playing it on the chord changes. And what's really great about this song is because the chords change quite often, um, almost every two beats, really if you're just playing on the chord changes it sounds pretty good so what that would be is this so taking the verse to start out you have this alternating a minor to the g major pattern so you're just going for like literally all of the verse so if you can do this a minor g major a minor g major you pretty much have most of the song like learned already. <laughs> that is enough of a strumming pattern so that you can get the vibe of the song. Um, alternatively, if you don't want to strum, you could do a, some light just like plucking. What I'm talking about that is not necessarily a finger picking pattern, but you can just pluck on the top four string or top three strings here. So that's string three, two, and one. So what you're going to do, I recommend keeping your a minor G pattern going in the left hand. However, if you choose this particular method, you don't have to, on the verses, um, make that A minor. So if you're starting out and transitioning between the two, chord, the two chords seems like a lot for you, you could just keep that position for that G because if you're plucking these bottom three strings here, or the top three strings rather, um, if you have the A minor here, all it's doing is changing this G string to an A. All right, so you can see if I'm plucking the fourth string, that's an A. If I pluck the first string, that's also an A. You don't need both of those pitches, um, so all you would have to do is just pluck those bottom or those top three, and then go to the G, 
Go back to A. G. A minor G. A minor G. So this could be an option as well. And how you're plucking is you are taking your thumb, plucking on the third string, your first finger is plucking on the second string, and your third or your second finger is plucking on that first string. So again, you have that A minor for this. Don't do anything with your left hand if you choose. And then the G. And all you're doing with your left hand is either making the chord as it is in the regular uh, lead sheet here, or you can choose to omit doing the A minor with your left hand and just focus on that G. Totally your choice. And then with the strumming pattern for the chorus is a down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Okay? So what that sounds like is like this. Slow, it's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Even slower, down, down, up. So you're switching on that G. So down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So you can see on the screen, we have the down, down, and then on that up, switch to the G, up, up, down, down, switching to the F, down, up, up, down. So you're always going to that G on the up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, okay? All together, up to speed, it's this. And if you want, you could add a check in there on all the down strums after your first. And that's totally your call. All right, let's go to the playthrough. One, two, here we go, and. So lonely in your 
you used to know helpful. Like I said, this is one that you guys specifically asked for from that one 10 songs that are three chords thing. I'm also going to be coming out with one that are two chords and also four chords, but not your tri typical like uh, those like the four chord song type thing. More recent ones that you've probably heard in the last year or so. But overall, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment at the bottom. All those things really help to make this channel grow. And holy cow, oh my gosh, we've seen so much growth in the last couple weeks. I really hope it continues because I love to expand this community that we have going on. And we have some exciting things coming up in the future. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.